They say experience has no value and it's no authority. But of husbands, I've had five, so you should listen to me. Folks may spin yarns, I mend, and on a seamstress, I will stitch together a story you will remember. I'll sing for my supper, but if I tell a good lie, you'll buy my supper tonight. And if I do tell things true, well, my supper will be on you. Mm -hmm. They tell girls, oh, act so pretty, and don't make yourself filthy. Don't enjoy it. Don't have fun. He's not the one. Don't sully yourself before your God, but do your duty by your husband, Todd. And I say, don't pay them heed. If marriage was good for King Solomon and virgins can't make more virgins true, I say, have fun. You are the one for you. I will kneel for my God on the stone shot on and shot, and I will visit the cathedral, pay respect pilgrim to Jerusalem to Canterbury too, but mind, don't tell me what to do. Mm. So I had five husbands, three good and two bad. Some were old with gold and some were lads. But the thing I know, and I know it well, is ruling ladies is our own fresh hell. Oh, I hail from Bath, don't need to cleanse myself of all that I have lived. Let me speak, Mr. Pardoner, and please don't interrupt. There's still much more I have to say. Mm. Maids can be the fresh white bread, and I'll be the barley, and I'll wear red. And moths won't have a chance to eat my best crimson dress, for I'll wear it up and around this town and my friends and lovers well they like that gown but what matters is i like it all on myself my last husband oh i liked him well married not for money but his loving swell his name was jenkin and i have ranked him don't think that's a sin well he had a book of evil wives when i opened it I saw those lies and I thought, my laddie, well, that just won't do. So I tore three pages from those false sages and he met that act with a lack of tact. But I met him and I matched him neck and neck. I said, Jenkin, I'm the mistress here. You can't stay till you give me sway. We'll be happy if I have my way and I'm queen of our domain. Finally, he saw some sense, and we were jolly from then on hence, and I bid you know that this is all a fact. So let me tell you my great tale. Sit tight, be merry, drink your ale. Let Allison regale you with her song. Centuries ago in England, when King Arthur ruled, his court. The fairies roam the woods, not the lechers in their hoods, and magic was the order of the day. Mm. And in that kingdom, there was a knight who swore an oath to do right. But one day in the fields disgraced a lady And he took her by force so he got sentenced to death The Queen Guinevere had mercy in her soul Said he is foul but should learn his lesson through a different toll And being wise, good King Arthur he listened to his wife, and he spared that horrid night, his life, at least then. 
So she said, sir, you've had great clemency. You've a year and a day to find pithily what it is a woman wants. He thought it would be simple, yes, but not knowing where the truth would bless him, he rode around the round. This question clear in mind. Some girls said, I want to learn. And some girls said, I want to burn with passion for myself and my lovers. Some girls said, I want the world. And some girls said, I want to go to hell in a hand basket and I can weave it too. But one day he saw fairies dance. He saw them there. Was it by chance when he neared their group? They up and disappeared. He saw the fae there in the woods with their golden cloaks and their greenest snoods. And he said, oh, please stay just one moment more. But all that there was left of them was an old gray hag. And she stood there in her rags. And our knight cared not for that. She said, hello, young sir, I'll tell you true what it is, the thing you seek to prove. As long as you do grant me what I ask in time. And he agreed, so she told him what it is, the thing I will relay. And I swear, I think I like her more and more. She said, give them the choice. their voice. Let them have free reign of life's horse. Let them steer the course of their own destinies for them to see. Let them be who they must needs be. Let them grow and wander freely around this ancient sylvan land. He said, that's all that they want, you're sure. And she said, oh Lord, must I endure the presence of this oaf without a mind. So we thanked her and he went with her to wend his way back to Arthur and he swore that he hoped that she had given sound advice. They rode over the castle's moat to the gate of Camelot. The knight stood there for Guinevere and he told her what he'd got. And she sat back and she said, now, that's the word. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, now I have answered true. And the crone said, good, now I'll have you. And he cried, no, please, no, anything but that. They were married then, and she told him, dear knight, why do you look so grim? And he said, you're poor, half grime, and you are past your prime. I don't know why she wanted him. He was cruel, and he was a great fool, but I guess that you cannot account for taste. Patiently, she verily said, wealth is not morality. Youth brings risk, and beauty lies within. But all right, my knight, I'll offer you to be young and fair, but you may have to fear that I may stray away from you. Or you can have me old and gray or loyal every single day. Not that those should be the only selections, but our knight had some had understood that women should have their own rule. And he said, dear wife, I leave it all to you to choose. And with that, he saw her change into a lovely young maiden. And she said, dear knight, because you let me have my way, I will remain this way with you forever and a day with you, at least until I found my next husband. So that's my tale. Hope you listen well. I was born under Venus and Mars as well. So I'm lusty, but I'm also wise. And I know all about the lives of wives. So remember one and two and three. That women need their sovereignty. And that's all that I have to say for now. And experience has value. And my life's a testament.
to the worth of worlds, not just of words, I said my piece.